Right, my name is Jack Tar Singh and I'm the National Officer for the Asian Fire Service Association. So what does AFSA stand for, what does AFSA do, is a very good question. Uh, AFSA was set up to uh, recruit more people from the Asian community in the fire service, there's too few people in the fire service from uh, South Asian backgrounds. It was there, set up to help uh, them progress through the services and also is there to challenge and support fire and rescue services in meeting the needs of the Asian community. After those initial thoughts of what we were about, AFSA also started to do work around charitable work um, in uh, parts of South Asia, like putting in water wells in India, uh, like uh, taking fire engines to Tanzania. So it's a staff network that works on a wider range of things than just on disciplinary issues or recruitment issues. I think AFSA have not only met its original objectives but gone way beyond them many, many times over. Uh, we hold ourselves to account in meetings where we say, right, what have we done against these objectives? And there's always positive stuff that people have done. Everybody hasn't done everything, but somebody will have done a lot in depth on one. So for example, our members on the charity committee, the India Project India committee, they go to India and do tremendous work. And that may be the only area they work on. So for example, last year, they trained 100 um, uh, volunteers at the Golden Temple uh, in first aid. But what a phenomenal effort that is. Often, um, uh, Asian Fire Service uh, Association are asked, what more can you do? What more do you want to do in the next 10 years? And the simple answer is, we've got to do more of the same. We've got to carry on with those original objectives that we've been so well framed, so well set, and continue to achieve on those. Trying to do more would be trying to run faster uh, when we're already running fast and fall over. So we must maintain our progress, we must maintain our focus, and we must keep true to those values and objectives that we've set.